Welcome to Abacus Tutorials. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to extract the frequencies and mode shapes if the structure was previously stressed. In this case, we have a pressure distribution on the wing, and we want to determine what are those effects on the dynamic characteristics of the structure. That's very important because in some cases, that pre-stress can stiffen the structure and can shift the frequencies and the mode shapes and so it's important to really understand that if you're going to do a transient analysis later on so with that said i'll pass it over to lifu who is going to guide us through this tutorial thank thank you lifu one appreciate it hello everyone welcome to another final element method tutorial today we are going to study the pre-stress effect or dynamic model analysis and we are going to compare this with previous projects where we didn't apply any load before we do the model analysis. So we are going to see how much does the preload, pre-stress affect the natural frequencies of the structures. So this is the previous project we have. We apply the non-uniform load to the entire structure. So now we're going to apply a preload. Sorry, we're going to apply a model analysis to it. So remember that we turn on the nonlinear geometry. So this should be turned on for preload analysis. Otherwise, the result will not have any effects on the natural frequencies. Uh, sorry, create a new one. It should be a linear perturbation and it should be frequencies here. Call it frequency. Same thing here, we output six modes without the damping. And you can see that it, the nonlinear is automatically on for this step. Make sure that in your properties, you have, the, yeah, we don't have the density. So the density, um, if you still remember, it's 1870. I think I remember it's 1870. And then, well, you don't need to change anything. The load will be applied to the preload stress and mesh is fine. If you feel like this mesh is too fine and it takes you too long time to run it, you can modify the mesh uh to make it faster so at the job let's create the pre-stress case submit so here this is two steps so the first step is going to apply the pressure analysis nonlinear, which is the same as the last video. And then it will move on to a model analysis for, for frequencies. So, uh, well, we're going to wait until the first step is finished. So, the analysis is finished here. You can see that for first step, we finished the nonlinear analysis. And the second step doesn't take time, it's a frequency analysis. Now let's see the result. So for the first step, it's just nonlinear analysis. It doesn't really have any difference from the previous project. All the way until the start of second second step. So now we can see this is the first one. You can see the distribution mode shape is very different now. You have some spark here. And this is mode shape two, mode shape three, four, and five and six. This is way lower than the previous one. We can com compare this two. By clicking this one, add a new viewpoint, and then 
put them side by side. And the upper one, let's find the most shape. And lower one, uh, the nonlinear non geometry. And to compare, to better compare that, uh, we can link them together first and then use the x, z. Well, they are in different uh, angle since this model we didn't rotate it for nonlinear for applying the uh, non-uniform distribution so we can unlink that and rotate it to the location we want now link them together comment choose the free edge so for the upper one uh, on LinkedIn again. For the upper one, let's move to the first mode. Oh, let's do the do this first. So to show the magnitude of the displacement, which is your mode shape. So for upper one, comparing the first mode and this one, this is the first mode you can see here first. Compare the natural frequencies. This is 3.3 .3 and this is 2.9. The mode shape is also very different. And, but it's still pretty close. The maximum is 3.6 and here is 3.9. It's only the distribution is a little bit different. Upper one, this is the second mode. The lower, lower one, this is the second mode. Uh, the magnitude is the, uh, almost the same. The actual distribution is totally different here. But you can see some similar patterns here. For example, here is pretty large. This is small. This is also large. And the uh, frequency is close, but not the same. 12 versus 11. And for the third mode, let's directly see the last mode, 6. And this is... Six. So now it's pretty different. See if you can see the uh, mode shape, either the mode shape and the natural frequencies is a lot different. So this proof that with and without the loading in the, with or without the pre-stress with nonlinear analysis, you will see the uh, stress sorry, the natural frequencies and mode shape has some difference inside. So this is the pre-stress effect for the wings. Uh, hope that you have learned something from this, from this tutorial. And I'll hand it back to Professor Goyang.